when you think about it, Mark Matson holds a very special place in Laker fans' hearts. He helped the Lakers to win two NBA championships back in 2001 and 2002. But it was how he celebrated those that just might describe him. He's, that's the best way we're going to remember him, that's for sure. Now, when you think about it, I visited with the Mad Dog for a look back at his time with the Lakers. Legends, sponsored by calljacob.com. Nice pass to Matson came right out of his shoe. He's staying after it. Nothing's going to stop Matson. Oh, nice tip in by Shaq. Mark, go get your shoe. While Mark Mad Dog Matson was never the most talented player on the floor, it was his work ethic and zeal for the game that made him a fan favorite both with his teammates and Laker fans. The minute you step into the playing competition area, you try to leave it everything out there on the court that you can. You leave it all there, um, no, no matter what the case may be. Uh, some of us weren't blessed with all of the talent and ability that, you know, a Kobe, a Shaq, a Robert Ory has. And so you have to find ways to, to make up for it in, in other ways. Um, intensity, energy, you, you know, trying to outwork people. You know, everyone's role is different on any team. You know, right now I'm coaching at Utah Valley. We have players that start, we have players that come off the bench, and then we have players whose job it is to make the practice environment the most intense environment possible. And so I, I had a little bit of every role. There, there were some times where I didn't play for five or 10 games. Then all of a sudden I'm, I'm playing 15 minutes a game. What about Mark Madsen playing from the top of the key? He looked like Kobe on that play, didn't he coach? You know, then someone might get hurt and Phil might need me to start. And so, you, you know, even when I started, it wasn't extended minutes, but it was, it was different roles that I had to be ready for every time. How would you describe your time with the Lakers? It was beyond belief and beyond expectation, Jen. And part of that is compounded and multiplied by the fact that I got to play with some of the greatest individuals, some of the most talented players that have ever played the game. Uh, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille. And it was Shaquille O'Neal who took Matson under his wing right from the jump. The first time I met Shaq, it was actually in the weight room. It was my first day of training camp, and he came in and just introduced himself, and, and we kind of hit it off. He had a very personal interest in you, didn't he? He wanted to help me, but it's no different than him wanting to help Devin George, Teron Liu, Mike Penberthy, um, and that's just who Shaq is. Did he help buy them cars like you? Buy, <laughs> buy them clothes like you? Not let you go... Not let you go to nightclubs when he was going. <laughs> he was your, he was he really was your daddy. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll never forget Shaquille signed um, a, a, a multi-million dollar extension. You know, I can't remember if it was fifty or eighty, and, and he invited me to go with him. First, he took me car shopping. You know, he wanted he he, he wanted to help give me a new set of wheels. He didn't like the minivan I was driving. I said, Shaq, he's up, man, he's up. It's a good car. <laughs> but but then but then we went to the Big and Tall store in right outside of Beverly Hills, right on the border of Westwood and Beverly Hills. And, and, and he, he spent thousands of dollars on the wardrobe. But then we went to the Rolex store at the mall. We ran into J.R. Ryder, another teammate, and, and, and Shaq literally picked out a Rolex for every single player on the team to say thank you. And Shaq was also at the center of the most iconic moment in Matson's career, and it didn't even take place on the court. Jim, the funny thing about that is, I mean, the first year, the whole team was dancing with me, but, but I got singled out because certain people said I didn't have good rhythm or didn't have a certain look. <laughs> you know, I, I still think I have rhythm. My wife will tell everyone I have rhythm now, you know, but uh, so the first year, you know, I think I got spot shadowed as, as the guy with no rhythm, which is okay because, you know, it was so much fun. It, it, it was so much fun and... To, you know, Shaquille grabbed the mic. He, he 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 had a you know he had a song he was gonna share with all the people that, that had come out to support the team and all of us from players to coaches to every fan and supporter that was there. We, we have a memory etched in our mind that, that we'll share. And one of the great things at the parade was when you went up to the microphone and you started to speak in Spanish. Les agradecemos y les dejimos que el año que viene lo haremos otra vez. The crowd went crazy. I saw there was a huge portion of the group that was of Latino descent and uh, actually had lived in Spain for a couple of years on a mission. And so I knew Spanish. And so I just, I thought it was important for me 
to, it was important for me to connect with this huge portion of the fan base that, that's Spanish speaking. And then that was kind of my way of saying thank you to the uh, Latino community that ha had been such a great support to, to me and to, the team, and to the team. Thanks for watching Legends on Sports Central. The law offices of Jacob Amrani are proud to support the team who built the basketball dynasty here in Los Angeles. The legendary team at calljacob.com are here for you 24 seven.